they took that. And who come from the FN coalition? Man, very of your heart. Who was FN coalition with the liberation of the Muslims? Who was he a Malaye? The FN. So whoever took that and claimed was FN. It's not about what the Malaye are pressing. They are not afraid of the Kovitch. So they. They, they said themselves that they did that. So then think about it. Why the justice don't take steps if someone is claimed that I am the one who killed these people? Why? So the reason is because some of the, those who commit the massacre, it's police behind that. But always, Congo came and support us when we have the conversion. I remember the Congo government sent the airplane came. They came once, they support us. After, the, after that, they flew back to Kinshasa. Always, always ask them, we recognize your presence, we, that's okay, but can you help us to plan, to write, that we can uh, ask the justice for those people who are Because they know what's behind that, they don't, they keep quiet. <coughs> Burundi as a government. When the FNL came to the, to the power, Pastor Abiman was welcome to the government. Now he's one of the workers. So he's now among those parties in power now in Burundi. Rubasa is the vice president of Congress. That's the very power position in the country. So they said that they put was of the power that he can eliminate all those all all, all those uh, uh, militias. So if we can take your plant and take that to uh, to, to the court, that means we uh, took your interest first and we forget ourselves. Because if we plan it. We do have references of our complaint or our plan. We have three men that day, that time. I was myself, Jabagabo, and the Gasol Mutanga. So, five. We compare. We justice. And the justice. That time they were promised that they were going to call to call uh, 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 the Habiman to come. Habiman came and he had the first interview. He had the second interview. So himself said, My president gave me the order to proclaim what he told me to do. They called Guasa, which was the president. The day they uh, invited Guasa to come to the interview, he was not uh, at the power yet. He pronounced as a party, you know. Even other people you may know. Many people came and they were even at the churches. When the power see that, they said, oh, this is, this is, this is and they negotiate him actually, they see the power he has. They said we're gonna negotiate him and put him in the power. Really, and this happened up now. He's the president of Congress. No, Now, what we're gonna do that we can have the justice? We will never quit doing the commemoration. Where is all the money going to come? We will keep, we keep remind the remind, remind until those interests that Burundi as a government has will go down. 
even in this, are you doing here? I remind this international community. Those are causes not coming from us. These come from the, uh, the area or the place we came from and also the United Nations. But also it hurt it the problem among ourselves. You see the Burundi as the capital and the Bujumbura as the capital and the Guvira, they, they're not far from each other. No one day among these 14 years, the Bukovira never do this commemoration. Never happened in Likukavu as a One day he said he did that. Kinshasa always have the commemoration day like this, and even the people in the power can and be part of that. In our home, which the village we came from, they never do the commemoration. They did once when the Kumino was in the Kamongo village. Other people did it because they knew the Congo is behind that. But we asked them if Kinshasa people and the power even come and support them. Why you guys? Live in Uvira or live in, in, the, in the mountains, can't do the commemoration. And we all say that if we do the commemoration, it's a reminder. We remind them. Those are some facts we don't know what to do or how to resolve that. Something also we did in Bujumbura. They did the, the little clips of the, the, the little uh, video. When, the, the, when people were killed, they were the same life, the regular life of the until the point where people were killed. We got there, all the pictures. We got there, all the declaration has been given on the media, radio, and the BBC. Some of those I did myself, which is I didn't even have an expert on that. Even though I didn't have an expert on that, at least we do have that. So we were also thinking maybe to have any interviews with those uh, two Congolese who knows the facts, what happened. But in this can happen, if, even in Burundi, what if the president in Burundi even give us the uh, true facts, what happened? At least this is something we need to collect and put that together. That can help maybe the justice to take place. And when we did this conversation with the pressure, at least to show that this, this is what we need, this is what we, uh, with this, the facts we have. This is, uh, this is what people say and go from there. And this is the challenge you guys we can have as young people. That we can go and get that point. So this is our regular testimony, it's okay. It's okay. But we also need the testimony for those orders, those kills. That when the year comes, when the justice will take place, then we have at least those signs. We thank you and uh, we uh, encourage all of you to remember our friends lost their lives. Keep your mind countries and other people. 
and uh, just to prevent that not happening again. Thank you.